Hi guys, my name is Imran and I do technical support here at Hubble Lithium and today I will be showing you guys how to connect a SunSync inverter with an Hubble M2 battery. Today I will also be showing you guys an installation where I'll be pairing an expert type inverter and an Hubble M2 battery. If you do want to see that, you can fast forward down below. Disclaimer guys, please guys make sure that when you are installing these high voltage systems that there is a qualified electrician on site at all times. So guys, in the box when purchasing a Hubble battery, you will receive 25 mm cabling that's sufficient enough to operate a 100 amp hour battery. If you are interested in adding more than one battery, you may do so. Our batteries can parallel up to 15 batteries. In doing so, you might want to check for thicker cabling for the installation. You'll also receive a battery link cable that is not used for comms from inverter to battery. All I'll be doing now is just connect the DC cables to the negative and positives on the battery. So what I've done was I've connected the negative and positives to the battery terminals. So once the battery is connected, the inverter will automatically start seeing the battery. If you do want comms between battery and inverter, you may do so. There is a CAN cable that communicates directly to our battery. To achieve communication between the two, you can plug it from the CAN of inverter to CAN of battery and activate the switch one and put the rest off. If you do have multiple batteries, you can line them up, connect the battery link cables and set the tip switches accordingly. In the box, you'll receive a pamphlet that will give you all the installation requirements to parallel X amount of batteries. However, if you don't have a CAN cable, you can set the SunSync and Hubble battery up on voltage settings. You can find the link down below in the comment section. Communication between a Hubble battery and a SunSync can be achieved with a standard Ethernet cable that you can pick up at any computer store. However, if you do want full monitoring between the SunSync and Hubble battery, you can get a cloud link and that will graph battery data and inverter data. As it stands, there is only telemetry being shown on the portal on the 8 kilowatt and the 12 kilowatt SunSync inverters. Click the link below to find out more about the cloud link. Moving on, I'm going to show you how we would connect a expert type inverter and a Hubble M2 battery. Um, expert type inverters is just a umbrella term used to describe inverters that use the same protocol. Examples of expert type inverters would be Kodak, Synergy, Synapse, um, Focus, but in this case we're using Focus. As you guys can already see, I've already got my trunking and I will now show you guys how to connect the DC cables to the terminals of the battery. Once you've connected the cables to the DC terminals of the battery, you will then have to configure voltage settings on the inverter. Those settings will be made available in the link below. But furthermore, it's pretty simple to set up an expert type and a Hubble battery. If you are installing the Hubble battery with a different type of inverter, please go to our website. And on the website, if you hover over inverter guys, you will get a drop down and then just navigate to the inverter. Guys, please like and subscribe if you did enjoy this tutorial. Um, and there will be many more in the future.